it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do. But at what cost? There's no point in eating and continue eating when we know I'm not spending the extra $4. I've had it with this. It's a but it's, joke. It's worth it with the, the dogs the... aren't even coming to the wedding, and now that's final. Uh, Eleven twenty-eight sixty. Say that again. To be honest with you, no one else is important but me. This is gonna offend so many people. Weddings are a princess bride. Weddings are taking it all in stride. Weddings are a budget that both could abide. Meet Tina and Fabio, just married. By royal decree, a princess wedding was ordered, but getting there wasn't without some palatial problems. So let's lower the drawbridge to Tina and Fabio's kingdom and see what happened during the days leading up to their wedding. My name is Tina, I'm 29 years old, and I'm a customer service rep for a medical gas company. I met Fabio, an industrial plumber, back in high school, and we've been inseparable ever since. When he proposed, I just couldn't say no. This is a story of how I tried to get my princess wedding that I thought I deserved. I wanted to be the center of attention, um, the princess, that I am, so going with the princess theme was perfect. Um, with my Prince Charming, of course. Did he come? <laughs> yeah. The princess theme may have been perfect for Tina, but for Fabio, it wasn't always charming. So let's wind back the clock and see what really happened. My expectations uh, for the wedding planner were just somebody coming in and make sure that we stayed on budget. I need a wedding planner that's gonna agree with everything that I say. <laughs> Enter wedding planner David Conley. With his six years' experience, could he balance the different desires of this bride and groom and still manage to balance their budget? I'm a collar away. Okay. okay. My role as a wedding planner is to take what the bride and groom want, take the reality of their budget, and take what I know as an expert in the field and combine all of that so that they have a day that is better than they thought possible, and I have pride in knowing that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. If you could describe your wedding in one sentence, it's all over and you're gonna finish the sentence, our wedding was... Cheap. Cinderella. <laughs> Cheap Cinderella. I just want it to be beautiful and very elegant. So visually beautiful. Yes. As well as... And elegant. Okay. Yeah. And how many guests are we looking at? Uh, 150 or 150, 155. Are you registered anywhere? What would you like for gifts? Uh, I like cash. Um, <laughs> I, well, that's just me. So, I mean, put it that way. I yeah, mean, if like it's up cash. to her, the, she'll ask for everything pink. Yeah, can you bring me a pink everything? That's a great gift. I mean, but then how much? Do you, well, how do you know how much? This is and, why I was thinking yeah. maybe we put an ATM or oh my God. So, put the ATM there. <laughs> How about a pink ATM? No problem. That would okay. be beautiful. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So we're talking about um, outfits for the wedding. I hear that um, we're going to have some new outfits for the dogs. Well, I'm hoping with consent of the uh, venue. Not the yeah. groom. <laughs> no, that doesn't even play a part. To be honest with you, no one else is important but me. And I want my babies there, my dogs. Just the ceremony. I'm sorry. You want them as part of the ceremony in right. what what role would they play in the just, ceremony? Just walking down the aisle with my niece. Have you ordered the cake? Do you like the, have you picked the cake? Do you know what size? I, what? I, I, um... Okay, here's the, here's the problem with the cake. We picked the cake, uh -huh. but all of a sudden I made a funny comment like, what, it's a regular cake? It looks like a hockey puck. Don't so she know. decides that there's a much nicer cake a huge, like, 13 tier. It's not 13 It's got tier. castles. It's a waterfall and, in the middle. Yeah, basically, a bird, of sugar, yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden, our cake is junk, and it's not. How do you it's describe it except expensive? It, our it just... hall looks like a castle. Yeah. You call me your princess all the time. And? So why can't I have a castle cake? Well, it's another thing that we'll just have to find the happy median balance on. She's a princess. I mean, there's no doubting that, but 
Do we need a princess cake as well? I mean, where do we draw the line? Me and Tina are gonna be paying for this wedding. We don't really have uh, family members that could help us with this. Uh, it's not too bad. Again, that's why uh, we, we were trying to keep it as you know as little as possible. He's easy going. He's uh, pretty laid back. Um, but when you start mentioning dollars, that's when he, his face starts turning red and his ears start turning red and he has like a tear in one eye. I guarantee, no matter what oh, this God. budget number is, <laughs> that I can make this come true for you. So why don't you give me your envelope? No matter what is in this envelope, you're gonna have this day the princess bride having her princess dream wedding come true. I love it! There you go. So, now let us see what we have to make a princess dream wedding come true with. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's start our fairy tale. Coming up. I've had it with this. It's but a it, joke. It's worth it with the, the dogs the... aren't even coming to the wedding, and now that's final. The album in the freezer with the cake? No. Oh, okay. No, the cake's in the freezer. You wanted to frost the album. I was saving that for our 25th wedding anniversary, and now it's 31, and I forgot about it. Let's have it tonight. It's frozen. When it comes to putting together your wedding, you better make sure you have easy access to cash. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we put an ATM at the door. How about a pink ATM? No problem. That would be okay. beautiful. And at the end of the show, we'll reveal whether or not Tina and Fabio's budget ended up in the pink without being in the red. I think we did our own invites. Basically, I asked her if we could probably save some money by doing it. and Save money. It seemed to work. See, what's up with the blue lights? Here it goes. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. This one better. Okay, what? What was that? Oh my god, what's that? <laughs> it's a brand new printer. Oh my no, god. It makes a noise every it's time. It's a new printer. I didn't even keep the receipt. How can you not keep the receipt? I. It was new. Fabio's gonna kill me. I'm gonna cry. That's Crying okay. isn't gonna change anything. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it can't, maybe we just, um, like, installed it wrong. Hmm. Would a real princess be printing her own wedding invitations? I think not. Um, I think the reason why we can't get it to print, Tina, uh -huh. we have to adjust the paper size. Yeah, but we did. The, the, the yes, thing we've been says doing five and a half by seven. Yeah, but we've been doing it on the computer. We actually have to do it on the printer. That's what it says. And it was there all along. We just never looked at the box. Four by five and seven by six. I don't understand why they would put that in the small print. Wouldn't they put, put that right at the top saying, adjust to fit to your printer size or your paper size? It was ridiculous. Well, at least Tina didn't have to adjust her budget. We had already purchased the cake, a cake that I thought was a little too expensive right off the bat. And then um, we bring David along and, uh, princess and they had to you know go over look at the cake again and and the next thing you know we're upgrading our cake and okay <laughs> this is the castle My, cake. yes but will the price taste as sweet <laughs> is it ever the fairy tale oh, princess oh it's pretty we have a cake we picked the cake we love the cake Fabio, Tina, okay. pleased to meet you. David. David Maurizio. Okay, let's take a look at the cake they ordered. Okay. Well, they've got a pretty special cake they ordered. It's our bowl cake. Uh, brand new for this year. Uh, what's kind of the cost we were to upgrade to the You're castle cake? You're looking about, about almost a $300 difference in price between one and the other. <laughs> la, 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 la. Um, we made them blush. Easy smoke. <laughs> smoke coming out of the ears. <laughs> what we could do is eliminate the bottom four tiers and just go with a single round tier on the bottom, which would reduce it in and around the 175 range. As gorgeous as that bow cake is, mm -hmm. it doesn't really speak to the princess theme quite as specifically as this one does. My little problem with this is I think everybody forgot them. We have a nice cake and I know, but baby, this is already over our budget. David, tell yeah. me you don't love it. <laughs> I, 
You know that She's I love it. She's always better than what? <laughs> look how, look how nice here. that cake is. She's on my side. I can't justify spending even more than, you know. You call me your princess all the time. So you Why don't need don't the cake. Why don't you let me have princess I, things? Because. Oh. Let's see how much I like you guys. I'm going to go back. Ah, and Maurizio's crunch, and, and crunch, and We crunch love some Maurizio. I'll see, I'll see how close to your budget I can get with this cake. Thank you, sir. If it's not going down, you're not getting the cake. Fabio, only an extra hundred and seventy-five dollars. My only, only, only. Like it's yeah, nothing. Only. Like I said, I went cheap on the invitations. I don't understand. Only extra hundred seventy-five. You act like hundred seventy-five is nothing. Best I can do for you on that cake there. We're gonna meet halfway. It's twenty-five dollars more now. Twenty-five dollars. I yeah. told you, I even went cheap on the invitations. Yeah. I mean, I mean, for twenty-five dollars, I. It's not Why worth, do you want to make me cry? It's not, it's not worth me getting or not getting anything tonight, so. <laughs> so I don't mind. I don't want to sleep on the couch either, so. Tina gets her cake, and Fabio gets some sugar. A fair trade. Tina got her way. <laughs> like, always. <laughs> I definitely wanted my dogs to be part of our wedding. They're our babies. And uh, I wanted them to be a part of it. Hey, be a good Look boy. at this door. This one's for him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh that's try good. that on. Would that fit? Oh my god. Look at you. So sweet. The bling is good. The bling fits our theme. <laughs> Please. You better be careful. You don't want him to look better than you. Always the bride. Always the bride. Do you have one for Toe? <laughs> toe is the bridesmaid. <laughs> I just wear one on each arm. You <laughs> could can save money on her dress. Look how cute that is. Oh, nice. that's gorgeous. That Look at that. Awesome. It's so very that's simple, that's pretty but it's sparkly. So does Fabio know about this extra expense? Because oh, bling, whether it's for a dog or for a girl or for a boy, We'll, we'll Bring find there. space in the budget, won't we? I've cut uh, costs, okay. you know, with my invitations. <laughs> she brings up the invitations every time we spend any money. <laughs> but I'm sure it's within budget. Yeah, you have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm um, sure it's not. No. Okay, let's see how they walk with you. Okay, okay, ready? Dum dum da dum. Dum dum da dum. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> So far, the rehearsal isn't everything we kind of hoped for. Something tells me the price isn't going to be what you hoped for either. So, Let's see what kind of doggy damage we've done. Uh, Eleven twenty-eight sixty. Say that again. Eleven twenty-eight sixty. That's a lot for bling around the collar. Of all the stuff, what could we take off the list? Now this girl? is the most think, yeah, expensive maybe... item you chose. How much would that take off? Oh, no, this is helping. Oh, that's helping a lot. Ooh. That's half. Much better. He is going to blow a gasket when he finds out. He's mm. not. You know what I think? I think that when he sees how tasteful they're going to be dressed and not look like clowns, which I think he's afraid of, like big frou-frou dress he thought I was going to do for her, I think he's going to like it. Tell her. How would you like to do a little friendly bet? <laughs> Yes, money on the line. I don't have a budget for bets, okay? <laughs> Be careful, Tina. This might just land you in the doghouse. Check out the new dues. Wow, Look at this awesome. leash with gorgeous Swarovski crystals. Crushed velvet. You gotta be kidding, they're dogs. Uh, this is all buttons. real. Oh, you Princess. gotta be kidding. How much did you spend? How much did you spend? And I didn't get her a big fruit How dress like you, you thought spend? I was gonna get her. How much? How much was this stuff? Six twenty. Seven. Seven? I rented a tux for 160 bucks. Okay. My God, people are laughing at me all over the world right now. Honestly, I've had it with this. Th this is now a joke Babe, to me. It's a it's, joke. It's worth it with the, the dogs the aren't even coming to the wedding, and now that's final. You just made up my mind. You know what? I'm tired of dealing with this. You know what? That's for, fine. Forget it. I'm not dealing with Call it anymore. Call the, the I'm store not dealing with it anymore. and bring it back. I'm not oh, dealing with it please? anymore. Please. Do not encourage her. That's that's just unacceptable. Oh, I need a drink. Coming up. This There's no point in eating be... and continue eating when we know I'm not spending the extra four dollars. First time I laid eyes on her, she kind of pranced in with her head up high, and I, the first thought that came to my mind was, what a snob. <laughs> what a snobby looking. Thanks a lot. When arranging the ideal wedding day, 
You have to be careful of items that take an extra bite out of your budget. How much did you spend? And I didn't get her a big fruit fruit dress like you, you thought spend? I was going to get her. How much? Six twenties. Seven. Seven? I rented a tux for 160 bucks. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on just how much Tina and Fabio spent to walk down the aisle in style. I had already had uh, my florist. Um, we had already discussed, you know, working with a budget, so he was uh, he was okay with that. I just didn't know what I wanted in terms of types of flowers and even colors. That's why you needed a second opinion, or in your case, a third and a fourth. Every time you guys get together, it's, you know, it costs me more money. I'm so not going to spend more money. Come on. We're on a budget. Yes. Zane. The Princessa. <laughs> Welcome to the Flower Festival, buddy. Hello, sir. What's going on? <laughs> Rocco. But why don't we first go over what is on the menu already? So far, Tina, we have your bridal bouquet, maid of honor, and then we have two arrangements for the pillars at the banquet hall. Then we have a boutonniere for the groom, best man, father, two aunts and two uncles. Dollar on that order is? The amount for this is $450, and we have picked no flowers as of today. What do you have in mind for the bouquet? This is a bouquet which is going out tomorrow. The colors are pretty. I don't think I want roses. I'm not a big fan of hydrangeas. Right, okay. but I love the shape of this. Are you sold on the shape? Yes. I totally agree with Toe that the hydrangea is not really us. It's I love the orchids. Yeah, that's pretty. But if we did kind of a variation of dark pink through light pink, almost headed to red, and then the lilies are going to give it the drama. God, she has lots of <laughs> drama coming out of everywhere. I brought some bling. <laughs> As a little surprise. Oh okay, you're not in my good books right to now. To give you, to Are give you. Are you here for a budget? Uh, oh my you need to help gosh. Me on this. That's nice. Isn't that just princess pretty? You're, on, you're supposed to be yeah. on my side, though. Um, there's the door. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Fabio. He's about to lose the battle of the bling. To relax you a little bit, Fabio, this is a really cheap belt buckle. Or if you want to do something that's bling but not quite rhinestones, you could do a pearl. Thing. I like ghetto fabulous myself. <laughs> Silence befalls the group. With the extra flowers that um, David added. When did we add flowers? We well, just changed we them just a little bit. Them. We, we, we added well, we're the calla lilies, which have, a, which have a price tag to there, Fabio. There's a price difference? He's not here. I don't okay, you know what we can do? I should have honestly, left you at home. Honestly? You just left you at home. <laughs> I, I'm giving you permission for 450 okay. I'm actually going to leave now. It might even be less. Fast. Yeah, no, less, I'll give you the 450 Now that's a way to set a limit. The whole uh, centerpiece idea, I just wanted them to be really pretty. I had these really cute ideas, and yeah, I went to a dollar store. I mean, Fabio's all about saving money. Um, so I, 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 I picked up a few things, and I thought David would be on the same page, but he wasn't. <laughs> He definitely wasn't. I found some really cute things. Now, because Fabio is making me go cheap, uh, I thought that, you know, I went to the dollar store and they had some really cute stuff. Pink, right? So, like, centerpiece. Right. So, because real flowers are obviously gonna cost us loads of cash. Right. Babe, a dollar, right? <laughs> Look at this. I got to waste the three dollars. Like, queen. And you can't what is justify that? that. Oh, wait, no, that's, you're supposed right. to you just buy all it's the junk scandal. they had in the store? Baby, I'm trying to cut costs here. You know, sometimes a bargain just isn't a bargain. You're so mean. Just, we're just going to put these away for a second because they're great. But um, I have some other ideas that I want to share with you. We get to wear arts and crafts crowns because it's <laughs> princess day <laughs> and you get a blue one. I'm gonna give you credit for finding these really pretty centerpieces. I did. So what they gave us was sand and you're supposed to put this candle in the sand. Pretty? Not pretty. We're at a princess's wedding and I don't think a princess would put sand 
in her candle. Know that you got some ribbon and that your thought was maybe that we'd wrap a ribbon around this. And I, yeah. I think I'd call this option number one because we want to tie in the pink. We could talk about putting flowers around the bottom of the candle. Okay, so let me show you. Enough. Let me show you. I brought these. This is a real orchid. What you could do as an option is take real orchids and kind of line the bottom of this Oh, with it. That's pretty. Right. So that's option number two, are these orchids. Option number three, which I like a lot too, you can kind of fill this thing with some goodies that I got from the Arts and Crafts corner. Now it's not pink yet. Stay awake now, Fabio, because this could save you money. So what we want to do is we want to add some pink, you know, a handful of those. There, and then you Lovely. have this kind of glittering, Lovely. glistening kind of pink. It ties in the beige, and your candle looks taller. And I think without the ribbon or the bow, it kind of takes the feminine thing off it. Too much pink. Power. Give it a second. We gave you There stuff. are guys at this wedding. We're talking for you. So that's kind of option number three. The most expensive of these three options would be the live orchid. To do the live orchids, we'd have to add another 10 bucks. Each. Yeah, it's expensive. To come up with enough of that to do 25 of them, we probably only have to add five bucks. Yeah. So. Okay, let's go to that. When they were trying to put together uh, our final centerpiece, um, I, start, I started noticing a lot of stones, a lot of pink stones, shades of pink stones. It's like... <laughs> My yes. God, pink on pink on pink. It's, Wasn't it was bad. becoming too much. Like, I really just want to walk out of there. When they first brought up the idea of an ATM at your wedding reception, I thought he was absolutely kidding. I thought it was total humor for humor's sake. And now here we are planning to go see an ATM and figuring out how much ATMs cost to rent. It's unbelievable to me, but it's what they want. What were you guys looking at this for? Well, we have a very special bride and groom that we're planning a wedding for. Okay. And uh, they've requested to have an ATM on site as part of their reception. So it's a cash bar? Uh, they actually are anxious to have this there because they're afraid that people maybe didn't bring enough cash with them for their cash envelope. I actually, I've never heard of that before, honestly. And trust me, neither have we. This is a first for us. And uh, it's just kind of our client wish. So we're doing our best to kind of make their wedding wishes come true. How much does it cost? Because budget is their absolutely most important priority, <laughs> right? Uh, we'd probably place the machine there at no cost to you. We'd have a surcharge on the machine of, a, of our standard charge is 150. Rather than hooking it up to a phone line, because they have to hook up to a phone line, oh. so we could just put it near a cell phone. So it doesn't necessarily have to be near a phone jack or anything like that. Well, thanks very much, Derek. That's an, an awful lot of information that uh, is very helpful to us. And who knows, you may be starting a whole new line of your business. <laughs> I didn't want anything to go wrong with the food. I mean, it's probably one of the most important things that people are going to remember, besides, you know, obviously, you looking good and everything else. The food, I mean, they're going to remember that. What we brought out first is obviously the antipasto bar sampler. And then after that, we're going to go into the one pasta. We've done a lasagnetta tonight. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten away from the two pasta uh, right. idea, and we've gone to one nice pasta. So we're doing so one meat and salmon? We're doing the lasagnetta. Yeah. And then we're going into the one meat, which is the stuffed veal chops. This is your Pretty department, David. Fabio. Well, enjoy You're this, guys. Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit, and then we'll talk some I'm more. I'm the food connoisseur. Right? Okay. So far, everything. Everything is very good, very fresh. Let's just do this. this. Yeah. These are some fancy plates. We're enjoying this a lot, but we're I think finding it hard to enjoy without full knowledge of kind of where we're lying. What am I looking at per person now, extra? Oh. If we went with. If now we're gonna actually go with this meal. Well, numbers can be around four dollars. By the look on Fabio's face, that price was hard to swallow. That's not gonna happen. Well, th there's a different quality meat. It's just different cost. There's the no point in eating and continue eating when we know I'm not spending the extra four dollars. You wanna just go to one meat and make a chicken so that we don't no, pay no, the no, extra no. four dollars? No, the food's important to me. If we're gonna I do want, one I meat, want I want food. a good one, but exactly. I, well, yeah. I think I think that no matter just, how good the food is, we have to kind of approach it through a lens of what's realistic for us. The dollars are are speaking louder than the yeah. taste buds. Yeah. 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 I'll do something, we'll split it with you. I just want to make you happy, that's fine. Uh, so are you saying that what, you know, what we're, we're... You're looking at a couple dollars and that's it. 
Um, well, listen, so there's five things at a wedding, right? And it's great food, great mm -hmm. service, beautiful hall, great music, and a happy bride. I think two bucks should make you happy. I'll give you a Everybody. hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the hug anyway, though, buddy. So much love in this room. I'm glad we uh, actually paid an extra couple bucks, and you'll never hear me say that again. Coming up. I just don't understand how you go to a $99 sale. Right. And spend 11 times that amount. You can go to a sale, but doesn't mean that what you see is what you're actually going to like. It seems that if you hold your wedding in a more expensive place, people feel obligated to bring more expensive gifts. And so, you know, so we're at a corn roast on the beach, and we got, like, you know, Tupperware. I can't comment on that. <laughs> Why? Because my family was so <laughs> cheap with their gifts. <laughs> it was your yeah. family. When it comes to weddings, putting your foot down may be the only way to stop yourself from splurging. I'm giving you permission for 450. Okay. I'm actually gonna leave now. It might even be less. Fast. Hey, yeah, no, I'll, less. I'll give you the 450. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on whether Tina and Fabio spent more or less to get what their hearts desired. I found this gorgeous tiara shop, and I brought David and Toe with me uh, to get their opinion. Uh, the stuff in there was just gorgeous and shiny. Hi, how are you? Hi, wow. how are you? Good. We have a princess. Okay, so you're yeah. looking for princess tiara. Yeah. I'm looking at that center one right there. That's big here? gold. Yeah, I'm like that's really? like a crown. This is a crown. No? It's a beautiful Maybe. piece. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's just yeah. so big. Yeah. So you think so? It's like you're gonna it's gonna come down the aisle before you are. Yeah. It's gonna overpower David. your bid. How much do these go for? This one point. here is $4.95. Um, mm -hmm. Teen, I thought by coming here it meant that we were in your price range. Plus, with what you spent on your dress, mm -hmm. Tina. Is there a secret about the dress? Well, we, we went to this $99 sale, but it doesn't mean that everything in there is $100. Oh. <laughs> I, I hesitate to even ask. $1,100. Interesting. That's only 11 times what you told mm -hmm. Fabio you'd spend. I know it's not a lot for a wedding. I don't want him to think that you spent $100 on your dress and mm -hmm. he's putting money other places, and then when you tell him it's $1,100, he's going to have to find $1,000, and what's he going to take it out of? I told him I was going to a $99 sale. So does if he, he think decided he... To, to think that I spent $100 on a dress. <laughs> I don't think I have an obligation to tell Fabio these secrets because that's between the bride and the groom. When we're going through the budget, then yeah, I will encourage her to tell him, but no, it's not my job. Two weeks to the day. So what we traditionally do is um, just check in to see what's left to be done, how much we've paid, how much we still have to pay, and make sure that we're really on track with all of our items and uh, make sure we remind you of stuff that still has to happen. Now, clothing. Are we done? Or is your suit done? Ask her. A suit is you. Mine you is should done. Have been he Everything's has a taken fitting. care of. You'll never have a hidden cost with me. And, Ask this one here. And yeah, there's no more because the. Any other hidden costs? No. No. So speaking of clothing and hidden costs, right. is the dress <laughs> done? Yes. You bought the dress? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> what is going on here? I don't know. Um, what else do we have to do on the Friday? What do? Nails. Um, nails. Nails. Toes. Okay. My, 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 nails my toes. and toes, but not toes, toes. No, not toes, toes. We have to go to the venue to drop everything off. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. We have to drop off all the... So you can't just go me shopping. Me and Pete will give you guys a hand. Everything yeah. has yeah. to get to the venue on Friday. Yeah. And so Fab is going to do that. Fab's going to load the truck, right? Yeah. Of course. Okay. Of the budget that <clears throat> you gave me originally, we're not there yet. So <clears throat> do we want to get there? No. Like, no, no. I'm happy being under if we make it under. <laughs> because where did that original budget number come from? Was that you guys, like, somewhere? So this from wasn't, her. that original number wasn't something you discussed and no. came up with together? <laughs> no. Said, she just came up with, hey. no. No, I didn't. Why'd you bring this? Bingo! Well, it's the reality check, so we're trying to keep it real. So how close are or far are we from your princess dreams coming true? When I came up with the budget, I was like, this isn't enough. Mm -hmm. And obviously I've had to cut out things that I wanted, so obviously it's not enough. So I need to keep her in check. We just can't have any extra costs. Well, do you have any hidden costs? 
Like, there's nothing that Fabio doesn't know about, right? <laughs> no. Okay, good. When Fabio started bringing up budget and have you picked anything up that I don't know about or is there anything that you haven't told me yet? I was like, oh, God. So what do we have left with this wedding? Is there anything else that you spent that I don't know? Because I really wanted to start knowing, you know, at the end of the day, how much are we going to be spending here? Okay, because again, you keep thinking our budgets, you know, ooh, we're under budget and, okay, so what's the next cost? Because I know you just want to go over or are, hit a number that I didn't agree over. to. That face. What did you spend that you didn't tell me? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. I, everything that I've purchased, you, you know about. My dress was 1100 so that's not bad. That was smooth. Nice try. I just don't understand how you go to a $99 sale. Right. And spend 11 times that amount. You can go to a sale, but doesn't mean that what you see is what you're actually gonna like. You know, like, because you keep spending like this, you, the makeup you're gonna have to do yourself and the hair. That day I'm gonna be so stressed out, I'm gonna like put eyeliner all the way up, you know, to my forehead. And my hair, what do you expect me to do with my hair? Just keep it down like I always do, or up in a ponytail? I'm sorry, don't give me that face, because I swear, sometimes I'm, you make it seem like you do it on purpose. Okay, fine. I will do my makeup by myself. I am not going to do my own hair. Tina manages to hide costs for me. I just can go crazy just, with, you know, cute stuff. I have to now double check up on her and just, I have to be so on her. So you saying you don't trust me? Not even close. I've never had my eyebrows waxed. No? Never. Yes, it is. Yeah, boy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> where, there were, where are you? I was looking for River Rock. <laughs> oh, fix me. Yeah. Very stressed. You? <laughs> You're stressed, you? right. What? Just How are you thing. doing? I'm okay, staying up late, finishing last minute stuff. Stay Fabio, Fabio laying on the couch, snoring. That's his help. No. Did he load the truck with you and everything, though? No. That's a... I told him before he left this morning that he needed to load the truck with the centerpieces, the guest favors, the table cards. Because it's the, all heavy the, stuff. The, the like light, that's... the candle. And he left. And I'm really upset about that, because now I have to take time out of my day, go back to the house, and, you know, load these heavy boxes. Moving these to the truck? is a Fabio job. I know, I know. And like we just got just, our notes Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not happy at all. Who did he think was gonna carry this up the stairs? He said, David's your wedding planner. Why can't he help you? A little stuck. A little help. Oh, did I gain David, weight? David, more oh, ab work. Sorry. Okay. Perfect. And now we have to take it all back out again. Yeah. That's... Maybe they'll have people. Maybe they'll have people? <laughs> yeah, we need people. <laughs> <laughs> I got bubbles. Yeah. Do you like that idea? You don't like bubbles? No, I do. It's just new. This oh. is new news. Oh I haven't put bubbles on the list. Okay, bubbles. Do. So when, who gives so them and where do they get them? A, just hand them all randomly to the people who, I guess, like who are sitting on the exterior and ask them to blow the bubbles as we're coming down the aisle. And have you tested them? Are they easy? Is it like... It's boxed. I haven't tested okay. it. All right. You blow on it. How hard can that be? Okay. Obviously not as hard as shifting those boxes. <laughs> Let's go. Teen. <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not in the kitchen. Me and physical labor, <laughs> we're like this. We're like that. Like oil and water. See, look. Like oil and water. Oh. Perfect. I'm not ruining them for physical labor. Good for you. Coming up. Are you breathing? Hey, I'm breathing. You gotta keep breathing. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy every second. I just want to get this done. Because we had no money, I wore a suit, a three-piece suit that I bought from my brother. And it was plaid, and uh, it was funny looking, but it was the best thing Horrible. that we had. And he actually looked better than I did in he his brand nice new suit, suit that yeah. he bought, so. When it comes to spending a ton of money for just one day, 
it can be tempting to fudge the figures. So speaking of clothing and hidden costs, right. is the dress <laughs> done? Yes. You bought the dress? Yes. OK. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> what is what's going on here? And at the end of the show, we'll reveal the truth and nothing but the truth about Tina and Fabio's financial planning. The morning of the wedding day, uh, Toa and I woke up bright and early with the birds um, to go and get our hair done. That morning was, was good. It was uh, very low stress. Um, you may want to rethink that. I don't have a guest book. Toe, I didn't get a guest book. Or the friggin' pen to sign the, the marriage license. Toe, I think you should call David and tell him. Oh my god. No. So let's stop talking. Ow! <laughs> it's Tina. Um, I don't have a guest book or a pen thingy to sign the uh, marriage license. Can you call me back, please? Maybe I should text him, like over and over and over again, so his phone. Good plan, because irritation always prompts action. That's not a good thing. Hello? Hi, Tina. It's the Bride Patrol. Uh, yeah, Bride Patrol. I don't have a guest book. Oh, okay. But it's actually, yeah, so we have a lot of time. That's absolutely not a problem at all. Okay, and I don't have, a, like, a, a okay. nice pen thingy to... Oh, my God. Uh, ...to sign my, my marriage license. Okay, then I'll get you a nice pen thingy. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. It's all bad. Now, who's the pretty girl? <laughs> That's Thanks, gorgeous. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Hey, we need to bolt. Yes, we need to run. Yeah, you'll never see me in suspenders again, so take pictures while you can. You don't. I'm going to be comfortable all day. See? I'm all dressed up for my funeral. I mean, buddy. I wonder what Freud would think about that slip. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Are you dying? Did you cry? Huh? No, I don't. I don't. But you haven't seen the whole thing together, have you? Ever? Not yet. No. And your makeup is so natural, you can barely no, I'm see it. Kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You look gorgeous. Mm. Thank you. Look at those. <laughs> yeah, these bad boys aren't going anywhere. I'm no. going to touch you. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> your fingers. I know cold hands too. So. <laughs> Okay, no, that looks fabulous. There. So I really, I'm sweating now, and I really think that I should have just paid someone to do this. 63 minutes to go. Yeah, 63 good minutes. All this freaking craziness, running around, planning, yelling about money, all for one day. I have my aunt that's supposed to be here, okay. that we sent the car out for. There. We're happy to wait. I mean, it's only just noon right now, so. Okay. You might be. But the bride looks a little anxious. This is the worst part, just standing here. I'm very nervous. Are you breathing? I am breathing. You gotta keep breathing. <laughs> and enjoy every second. We're gonna start a little late because the car service that uh, is picking up your aunt is just, they had to wait a little longer for your aunt than they expected. It's like 10 minutes max, but Fab doesn't want to start without her. Of course. Obviously. No, no, I want her here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Tina's freaking out. She's freaking out. Just want to get this done. Everybody's here. Oh, God. <laughs> when I saw Tina come down the stairs, it, it sort of brought a tear to my eye. But I mean, sort of? there was too many people for me to actually like let it out. So I was, th then I'm like, oh, I can picture her falling. <laughs> you know, so that right there just made that tear go right back up. And it's like, okay, just, I hope she's not thinking. <laughs> yes. You know, because that's two things at once. And it worked out fine. So mean. And she looks stunning. Thank you. Oh. you know. <laughs> Fabio, with all my love, I give you this ring an everlasting symbol of the vows that we have made to each other. And as a token of my love and fidelity, I would promise to share, cherish my love and my love for you forever 
and never take it for granted. Having our own vows, I think, was really beautiful. Um, and Fabio messing up a few times was quite cute, so it wasn't so serious, because um, we're serious people. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the newly married couple. Coming up, the bride and groom asked for it beside the card box. Then I you, know. the venue guy, you say, no, 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 can't stay here. My oldest brother, Will, uh, came up and hugged me real tight right at the end and said, Sandra, be happy and be safe. And he turned to Len, and if you don't take good care of her, I'll knock your block off. When it comes to weddings, sometimes it can feel like things have gotten out of hand. All this freaking craziness, running around, planning, yelling about money, all for one day. After all, it's I do, but at what cost? No matter the budget, is it ever enough? Soon, we'll reveal how much money it took Fabio to make Tina his princess for a day. After the ceremony, taking off to go and take pictures, David stayed behind yeah. uh, at the, Just at getting the hall. getting ready for us. So we're going to go on that side. Yeah, that's perfect. It's perfect. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Dave, you're kidding me, right? This is right beside the booster box. Yeah, we can't, we can't be right in front. You know how you were my best friend before? Before? Now, no, you're not. like a brother. No, yeah. you're no, like, no, 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 no like not, we're related. No. no, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> the, the bride and groom asked for it beside the card box. So as their wedding planner, I have to do what they say. But then you, the venue guy, yeah. you say, no, 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 can't stay here. That's right. And then I get my ace in my deck, and I'm like, pro said we had to oh, move good. it. So you so understand. You, oh, oh understand. Good. Are so you kidding me? We can me? put it wherever else you want that's not right in front of this booster box. Yeah. Princess Tina is here. <laughs> What's that? It was on your list of wishes, so... That's... Okay, I was kidding, right? This is gonna offend so many people. But listen, we moved it here, and I think it looks like it belongs at the venue. It does, like it like was a, here already. Like it could be in a hall, right? Yeah. yeah like a, a venue. I don't know where. Let's keep going, you guys, and we'll take a look at the reception okay. hall, and you can tell me what you think. Oh, now I'm starting to sweat. This whole wedding, I've been okay, laid back, and now... I gotta worry about an ATM freaking people out. Oh my god! Okay, it's not too pink in here. Come on, everybody, my friends a cake. Oh my god! Oh! You're gonna get locked up in this tower. Stop, oh, don't put your fingers near it. Seems like dreams really can come true, but it was time to wake up. Okay, we'll sort this out. So, is there no table two? Did yes. you? Yes. Because there are no table two place cards. Yes, there were. There was so one. there were 18 tables. The only tables. number that's not there is 13. Do you have a master list? No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll sort it out. Fabio, I checked it over and over again. Hold on, hold on. Come here, look at me, stupid. Want to dance? Want to dance? No, don't, don't do this now. Don't do this. There's no table two or three. Like, where's table two and three? Who from the venue is on making a table? I would imagine Dino's. Here, table two and three, they were cross out. What do we make? We bring them now. So we're going to bring linen and everything, everything through the party? Glasses. So we're rolling a table through the party. OK. As long as we do it before Tina comes in, it's fine. Okay. She just can't see this happen, or she will uh, lose her hair. And with the table dance out of the way, yeah. Tina and Fabio were ready to do a little dancing of their own and enjoy a slice of their new life. Uh, how much do I love you, T? Um, you know you're all right. <laughs> well, I love you a lot. You know and what? I had an amazing time. You look time. very ordinary today. You look very sharp. Love you. Oh, I hate to burst your bubble. <laughs> but it's time to take a look at what this special day cost you. The original budget we handed to David was 
Castle cake, I had to upgrade the old cake, but uh, it was worth it. Cake was $750. Decor, including my flowers and centerpieces, uh, which had pink, not enough pink, I think. I uh, wish I could have had more, but it was only $1,020. Wedding dress uh, and accessories did not cost me $99. Um, did cost $1,298. David was absolutely phenomenal. Could have asked for anyone better. He was only $2,500. Venue, it was a perfect choice for us. Uh, food, open bar, and chocolate fountain, $15,523. Additional costs, including our money box, guest favors, and our DJ, who was great, only $7,243. What we actually spent on the budget was $28,334 putting us under by $1,666. You see? Because I cut out all those things that I wanted and did my own invitation. Because I told you to. No, because I wanted to. Liar. <coughs> Sorry. The princess is now a queen. The groom has her well in hand. And their royal treasury intact. The only question left is, did anyone actually use the bank machine? We're fairly similar, and uh, so I knew that uh, I could spend a long time with them. I always thought you told me it was my cute butt. <laughs> I actually didn't ask Kathy to marry me. She just started making plans, and then we were getting married. It's like, oh, yeah, this weekend we're getting married. Mark.